Hello, everybody. Happy Halloween. We are going to play a spooky game. Flesh. Bone. Bone. Bound together with, Bound together with the artist. Magical incantation. This wretched book is where, it, wretched all book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before, time. before, before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. This is not, this is not my story, story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is a story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not as you will. There's probably somebody saying all this anyway. Perceptions are color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of, so Ignorant of so much and dependent on so few. The guardians, the guardians grow restless. restless. Their time once it's again near. This is riveting. Whether by, Whether by fate or misfortune, my family, my family has crossed their path and they, and they didn't take kindly to it. <laughs> their attention, to their attention to turns to my granddaughter. She for she is the last of my line. She sounds and very hope. and the last hope for humanity. He's very peppy, you know. He's doesn't seem like he's a in a in a ghost mood. There's probably like audio all over this. That oh okay cool. Oh, I can see this is awesome. Oh spooky! I got this fucking gun. Oh fuck. Yeah, yeah. No. I tried playing this earlier. Oh fuck! And uh, I couldn't see a goddamn thing, and uh, it really sucked because, like this bit, all I could see was like her face. I couldn't see any of the the aliens like attacking me. I guess they're zombies. They're not aliens. Kill them! May the rats eat your eyes. Yeah, they may. The darkness comes. Oh, I'm locking the door. What the? Spooky old man. Who's this? Remember me, Alex! Father? I think it's her grandfather. Phone's ringing. Oh, 3... 33 in the morning. How about that? Should I, like, shut up and let you guys watch this? Or do you... Can I... Uh, I don't know. Hello? Hello. Miss Alexandra Broven? Oh, yes? Who is this? The specter of the aggressive of the... I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident. I sound like your dead grandfather. And he's dead. I'll be the next flight out. My female voice is uh, impeccable. I think you'll find unbelievable. I'm a, I'm a good, good at voice guy. Look at this guy fucking drinking his coffee. Look at me. Ah, Miss Roivas. Ah, Miss Ro Please to meet. I should come up with a new name. Or a new voice. I suppose so. Consider yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It is a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. This way. Oh, that was a good one. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. That's a good voice. Let's stick with that one. I'm afraid there's not much to see. This is probably really loud. I'm really sorry if my vocals are too loud. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at this fucking melty ass body thing. He's got a little ring on. Miss Ramos, is that your grandfather, Edward? Is that, is that the voice I did? I forgot them already. Yes, yes it's him. He's wearing, He's wearing a family ring. <laughs> ah, I see. Ah, one more thing, Mrs. Robinson. Why are you, Why showing, are you showing me this? Me this? Can't you check? Can't you check dental records or something? What's wrong with you? Nah, I'm sorry. It's my, it's my job, job, lady. The You're the only living relative. And no, we can't check dental records. Because he's got no head, you fucking idiot. Nah, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion. There was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen I've never seen anything like this. <coughs> no evidence except for the body. How much that doesn't say much. We don't have a single clue. You better find out who did this. I'm not leaving her island till you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. 
I wish I had some. Two weeks later. Oh, thank God. Oh, my voice. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex Box will cover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murderer, it would be here. All right, so you can see how dark this looks. I couldn't see any of this earlier. It was unbelievable. But I think um, we have to go down this way. I was trying to play this game, just not being able to see anything. It was impossible. Impossible, as the Francais would say. You can look at the paintings. Look at this guy. Portraits of the ancestral Roivus line, the foyer walls. Their faces reveal a dark, broody edge. There is something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. Ooh. The viewer is a very strange way to put that, I think. <coughs> this door is locked. Don't go through that door. There's like three doors on the other side. And then there's uh, this door. I think it's the one we're supposed to go through. I uh, very briefly played this when I bought it. And now I it's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. So we're going to play it again. Um, in the warm glow of candlelight, the Roivas family tree hangs from the wall. Shadows flitter across its surface, obscuring the detail. If one looks closely, the family secrets are revealed. Yes, they're all murderers. Um, so I haven't really... The first time I played it, I didn't get very far. And then when I tried to play it earlier, I did not get far at all. Because I couldn't see where I was going. Oh, that's where the... Okay. Er, okay, I think... I opened the bookcase earlier, but I couldn't. I couldn't figure out how to open. To well, I couldn't figure out where it was. These books contain the history of the Roivas family: genealogy, birth and death records, deeds and writs. The Roivas history is a troubled one, as Mediterranean immigrants, the early Roivas, were stunned by other settlers in North America. So it's back in the rich craft, the Roivas were convicted during the witch hunt for hiding on these memories faded and built their lives. It's a great story, like, it's full of, um, you know, intrigue and, and mystery. Um, here's a chair. The books in this corner seem to focus on the supernatural. Uh, Lovecraft, the, all the other ones. Was this Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? Uh, reading books? What a crazy hobby that guy had. So in here, I think, is a puzzle. Uh, I only got, like, the first time I played, I only got past the first level. So, uh, this time, it should be, f and that was years ago, so it should be funny to see how far I get here. Look at her, look at the clock. Look at the clock. Where is it up there? It's right here, honey. Alright, so, no. Why won't it let me, oh, detail. Looming grandfather clock looks to the loom. Use left and right to adjust the clock hands. Yes, that's what I want. Should Alex adjust the clock hand? It's like Dora the Explorer, yo. Should I adjust the clock hands? And then she like waits and the kids are like, No, get out of the fucking house. And she's like, okay. So we got to do 3.33. Because that was the time when Alex is saying earlier. And also, uh, there's a clue about that somewhere, but I forgot about it. Oh, it's right behind me. Fucking, I'm an idiot. God dang it. I was playing this earlier for like 20 minutes and I couldn't find this. Because I couldn't see it. It was impossible. Uh, I keep I keep slipping into French. Open that door, baby. Huh? Look at all this stuff. It was a cool looking book. I wonder if that's interesting because it's lit up for some reason. I think there's something else I'm supposed to do in this room. Examine this. No, I don't want to go to the book just yet. I, oh, yes. Examine this. A small shrine of candles. Their placement appears to be very deliberate. Matching the etchings on the table and the wall's illustration. The candles are unlit. One, two, three candles. It's very, still very dark. A diab diabolic drawing of a stack of human bodies. Each one cemented into place. Wow, that's cool. What twisted psyche could have uh, executed this drawing? Though disturbing, it is meticulously rendered down to the subtlest detail, the precise anatomy of fractured bones and the convolutions, convulsions of spines and ribs entwined into a mesmerizing sight. I wish you could see more of the picture because the description made it sound fucking cool. Let's have more of this. Is this... What is this? Uh, ancient Roman rapin, a gladius. Gladius is on display. 
I got it! I got a fucking sword. That's what I think I was supposed to get. This is a bizarre drawing of a cyclopean city. It's immense architecture beads and an unnatural fog. The detail is incredible. As Alex studies it, she can almost imagine the city's inhabitants. Me too. Yeah, it feels good. What is this? A painting of a jungle shredded building. It seems to be a temple in Asia, perhaps from Thailand and or Cambodia. Cool. Alright, let's just fucking... Oh, let's look at this. This looks like some kind of mask. The face is serene in composure with a faint hint of a smile tugging at the corners of the mouth and eyes. Closed. In deep meditation. Alright, give me the book. A large leather-bound antique book rests upon the cluttered desk. Should Alex read the book? What do you think, kids? No, get the fuck out of the house! Okay, let's read the book. Oh, hmm. Looks a little choppy. Why would she, like, read that book? There's loads of other books, for fuck's sake. Why would you pick that one? Oh, big scary thing. Uh oh. I, had no I had no knowledge of what was to come. Nor did, Nor I, did I care. I just love reading books. The How the knowledge changed me, it will, it will also change you. Wait, is this her? Oh, as you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand. Or you will perish. Cool, man. What a great... To think. to think that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. To see those who dwell behind. Behind. My life now has a purpose. To eat sandwiches. For I've learned the frailty of flesh and bone is pretty frail. I was once a fool. But now I'm a tool. Oh, he doesn't finish it. Oh, not more voices. Rest the men. They will need their strength. Make sure they take enough water and are in high spirits. Today's battle was but one of many. If we are to complete our mission. At once, Centurion Augustus. I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. I mean, I could probably just let the people say this instead of me talking over the top. I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs or his orders, but if we are to achieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient and strong. Hooray. Hail Caesar. What a nice man. Come to us. Pius Augustus. Pius? Pius Augustus? Pius? Alright, now we get to play a game. Oh, no, we don't. Come to us. What the fuck is he doing? Well, that's not a way to walk. Who walks like that? What the fuck? Are you okay? Maybe those Romans were like sick. Um. Oh, what? What the? I'm outside? When did this happen? What the fuck? Fucking towers and shit. What the? <coughs> I'm sorry. My voice is all cracky. That's what happens when you do a show. And you do all the voices. I've barely played this fucking game. It's just all cutscenes and shit. Ow! Why did, why did you do that? Here I am. Alright, now we're gonna play some game. Here's me. This is it. Examine. Detail. The... Dies on this floor is finely crafted, inlaid with golden gems that Pius can't identify. A strong linear design is situated in the middle and is equally unknown to the Roman soldier. Friggin' fantastic. Ja! Oh, A is like slash. And then R is like guard, I guess. And then you can run with L. And then Y doesn't do anything. X is like sneaky sneak. B is your like talk to people button for some reason. So what was the fast? Yeah, L is the fast. Can I interact with any of this shit? Gimme this shit. Gimme gimme. What do I do? What's the next bit? How do I... I don't get it. Oh, maybe I have to go in the middle? What's here? Examine. Oh, I gotta go down. A lot of it leads into the dying card of the labyrinth. Danger lurks beneath. The Pius's courageous resolve does not buckle. Should Pius climb down the ladder? Yeah, get the fuck out of there! 
Okay, kids, down the ladder. I don't want to climb up yet. Look at this guy. He's fine. He's okay. Oh, no text. Uh-oh. Oh, I want it. It looks shiny. Give me? Uh, eh. So I gotta fight. He's like, oh shit, dude. Look at that. He doesn't, his expression didn't change at all. Sneaky, sneak, sneak. Sneakity, sneak. Why did that explode? Can I hit it? No. I hit this? Well. Alright, so we gotta like slash this guy, I, I imagine. The gimmick between uh, or about um, Eternal Darkness is that if you like kind of take too much damage, you go all crazy. Or if you see too much like crazy ass shit, um, it like messes with your head and just weird stuff starts happening and distorts your view of the world. So it's an interesting gimmick, but I never played enough to like see it to fruition. I don't know if I will. I kind of just wanted... Oh, health meter. This meter represents life energy. Every time a character takes damage, the level will get lower. When it reaches zero, the character will die. Oh. Okay, cool. I didn't press start, though. I don't know why it's not like... Oh, fuck. Is he still alive? Oh, you can do, like, finishing moves, right? Ja! Ja! Okay. I remember now. Whenever you're close to, like, a dead body, to finish it off, you, like... This should be, like, a B button. And you can do that. So, like... I don't know why that finishes him off. Because you already, like, stabbed him a bunch. Can I kill him? No, he's fucked. You already stabbed him a bunch. And then his finishing move was just to just, like, give you another stab. Like, that's just overkill, man. You've stabbed him enough. So what is this? Examine. Detail. Granite block lies on the floor. Give it to me. I picked up a granite block. I fucking did. Why did he look so sad there? His whole shoulders are all hunched over and he's like, mm no. -hmm. Open the door! Huh? Oh, I want that. Um, pick up. I got the, I got two. Alright, now let's slash these motherfuckers. Kill him. Do the move. Oh, you slow ass motherfucker. Fucking Romans, man. You can't trust him to do anything. Like, kill him! Oh, he's just back up again. This is ass. Why won't you do the move? Do it. How many times? How many times? How many times? How many times? Yeah, yeah. Slash. Kill, kill, kill. Alright, now kill the other guy? Yeah! Alright, they're both dead. How's my health looking? Is it good? Oh, fuck yeah. Doing great. Uh, so, is this is this it? Does it get, like, more difficult than this? Or do I have to go back? I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. Like, there's nothing over here. Um, do I just go back? Oh, that's a door! I went to the wrong bit. I thought that that I thought that this was like a big grand door, but this is the door. Dude, if you've been watching my show, you know that I don't know deck about video games. Go into the door. Like, I, maybe that's the appeal of it. That people are like, "Wow, you already suck ass." I'm like, "You sure do." But like, also, and I don't want to, you know, step on anybody's toes here. But there's nothing wrong with sucking some ass. Is it just me? Is it just me that just really enjoys ass? It's not as bad as everybody. Look, all I'm saying is just give, you know, give it a shot, give it a chance. I think people are just, you know, they're 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 they don't want to. They think, ah, oh, the ass. No, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to go near that. That's disgusting. But I'm like, yeah, but we eat disgusting things all the time, and you don't know until you try. You know, people were like, oh, you can't eat bugs, but like, countries in Asia eat bugs all the time. You don't know until you try. So maybe you should just fucking shut up and eat some ass. You know what I mean? Ticket. Pick up. Pick up a block. So that's probably going to be for something. Slice this fuck. Slice him in the fucking face. He's not dead yet. Slice him. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. I mean, so far, it's nothing, like, spooky scary. Nothing bad's happened, I don't think. I want to, like, get to a point where I can see it, and then um, we can start this again. So this might be a really long episode, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, this guy? I already killed you and your brothers. 
What are you gonna do about it? Oh, is that a locked door? Maybe I need El Kio. Kill him. Finish him! Annihilate! The bars across the door block... Uh, can't go out the door. Gotcha. I think I have to go back to the... To the book. And then I can save from the book. So maybe... Oh. I have to go this way. Look at me! Creeping through the hallway. Alright. Blue. Red. And then green. And then purple. I don't have purple. I don't got purple. Where's purple? Get that fucking purple. Goddamn purple. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Purple? He's purple. So I think maybe I should let these guys like chop at me and then we can see like a, a spooky thing that happens. Or not do that. Maybe I, I think just generally the way I play this fucking game, I'm just gonna get my ass kicked anyway. Um, so there's no issue there. It'll happen anyway. Hit him! For fuck's sake! Yeah, alright, that's one guy dead, at least. Turn around, you fucking clown. Why? I mean, Jesus Christ, man. If you were if you were in this situation, and you, were tr you had your sword, and you were getting ready to kill somebody, and you knew they were behind you, why would you just be like, oh, just slash this way? Like, obviously, you would fucking turn around properly. Towards your enemies. I don't know. Oh, there's the purple one in the middle. Me good at video game. Gimme, gimme. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I just have to put the stones back in the correct order, right? You would imagine it's not gonna get much more complicated than that. Um, whatever. Wait, no. Symbol. Cut into the wall is a square hole. Yes. I want to put something in there. This one. Use. It's not going to be one of these games, is it? Oh my goodness. Alright, did that. Hole is filled. Yeah, tell me about it, man. I love filling holes. Alright. I gotta... I gotta Alright, red. Use. Skip. I know what it looks like when you place a suspicious box into a hole in the wall. I know what that looks like. You don't have to... You don't have to show me. Um, I don't know why I keep, like, pressing B there. Use. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, I want to save this. I want to call this a day on an episode. It's very good. Yay. Thank you. I'm a great boy at this. Use it. I'm doing better at this than I am at Yoshi's Island. That's suspicious. I don't feel like it'll last too long because I'm not good at horror games or any games. Ah, oh, the door opened. Fucking cool. Now I got an open door. Uh, I assume there's nothing else in this fucking room, is there? Uh, nope. Don't look like it. Alright. Alright, the door. Come on, buddy. Hop it up. A little quicker. You know, put a little... Oh, you gotta open the door. A little pep in your step. A little step pep. Pep it. Yeah, you know. Oh, this looks great. What's this? Uh, what's this now? Pius, you must prove your worth by destroying the statue. Pressing R will enable Pius to select which target to attack. Releasing R slightly and then pressing it again will cycle between multiple targets. Oh, I can attack specific body parts. Oh. Up to attack the head, left and right to attack the arms. Okay, hang on. Oh, cool. So I can do that. I'm not even close to him, though. Fucking... Alright. Cha! Cha! I said cha! And then cha! And then wah! I did it. I'm a master of statue stomping on. I'll stomp on a statue. Don't even, don't even look at me. Oh, another cutscene? you shitting me? Okay. Oh, Fucking zombie motherfuckers. Are they zombie? He's bigger than the other ones. Why is he so tall? Tall zombies. They bite and fight like itchy and scratchy the theme song. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Run away. Slice. Slice, slice. Slice? Alright, now do the finishing move. Wow. Yeah. Why did it... Alright, he's kicking my ass now. 
I'm looking low on health, but I don't know what to do to get more health. Hit him! Do the special move. Oh, I gotta put up with this again. Do you have to knock him down at least once before you can finish him? Somebody tell me. Give me answers. I need them. I'm sick. I'm so sick. I can't even move. Do I have a thing? Um, Map. Bullshit. Oh, I can save here. Can I? I can save? Oh. Save and continue. Oh, well, in that case... Oh, I feel like I'm close to the end, though. Well, at least it's saved. I guess I need this. Do I need this? There's like, it's rumbling. There's like a rumble. Is this a door? Can I go through it? Is this where I'm supposed to go? No. What do I do? Come on. Move. What's your problem, BC boy? There's rumbling over here. It's making a noise. Oh, I need this, do I? I mean, it showed me it in the cutscene. I'm a fucking idiot. Examine. A button attached to a small pylon illuminates the room. Should I push the button? Obviously push the button. See what the fuck happens. Ah! How spooky this is. Let's turn around slowly and walk towards it. Maybe the rumble is just because I'm dying. You know, I'm sick. So maybe that's what it is. How could there be more? How could there be more? What the fuck is this? It's three things. Do I take them? What do I do? Uh. Okay. I'll take this one. I don't know what it is. It's looking like a jellyfish. Is this the right one? Did I do it? I mean, it doesn't look good. It's not... If I touch the thing and it started zapping me with uh, some kind of weird blue light, I would imagine... Yeah, don't think this is good. Mmm, uh-oh. Maybe I picked the wrong one. Oh, dear. But I probably... I'm still alive. Look at me, I'm fine. He's gonna do a roar. He's gonna be like, rawr. Rawr. Oh, he didn't do it. He just looked at me. Cool, thank you. So now he's a skeleton. Shit, dude. I hate it when you do that. Aeons have passed since then, and I have learned much. Oh, wait, who is this? All at once, I understood. I understood. The forces of the multiverse all made sense. Oh, we did it. We did a chapter. So this is as far as I usually get. The first time I played it, I got this far. No study too far. Um, so I think once we get our people back, face me and you shall surely perish. Oh no, How, what a spooky tale that was. I'm so spooked. I've acquired the Tomb of Eternal Darkness. It looks delightful. It looks well crafted. I am going to save. And you know what? If you guys want to see more Eternal Darkness, let me know. Uh, I just kind of did this for a Halloween thing, but if you want to see more, let me know. I'm going to try and like beat Yoshi's Island before the end of the year. And if I do, maybe I'll bring back Eternal Darkness. How does that sound? Uh, it sounds great. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you had a great Halloween and it's very spooky. And I'll see you in the next episode. If we do another one, we might do. I don't know. We'll see.